Ancient tombs have been discovered and unearthed all around the world, but sometimes these tombs end up revealing some of the horrors of the past. From some of the most mysterious tombs to ones we didn't even expect to find. Let's take a trip to the past today, Bumblebees, as we cover the top 10 unspeakable things found in ancient tombs. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the knife-armed man. In 2018, while researchers were excavating a 1,200 to 1,400 year old necropolis in northern Italy, they made a gruesome discovery that led to us learning a super interesting story of someone who lived all those years ago. Inside this necropolis, there were the remains of a man, but what set him apart from the others is that he had a knife blade prosthetic arm. Further analysis of his bones showed that his arm had been removed via blunt force trauma. Normally, all those years ago, the wounds would have killed you, if not from the loss of blood, then from infection because, of course, this was a time before antibiotics, but somehow this man managed to survive it all, and in doing that, he made himself the scariest prosthetic limb I've ever heard of. He replaced his missing hand with a long knife buckled to his arm with leather straps. In our number 9 spot today, we have KV55. This is a tomb that is referred to by a number rather than a name because we don't actually know who lies inside of this tomb. While this tomb had its modern discovery in 1907, we still haven't quite found the answers surrounding this mystery. To make things a little more eerie, while the walls of the actual tomb are bare, which is bizarre, as you walk down the steps towards the tomb, you'll notice there are some markings leading up to it. You'll see inscribed on the wall of the entrance the words which can be translated to, the evil one shall not live again. If this wasn't enough to give an unsettling feeling, the coffin inside of the tomb has been desecrated, with part of the face having been removed. So all in all, we don't know a lot about what's going on down there, but it doesn't seem good. In our number eight spot today, we have Man E. Okay, so normally when you're out in the field searching for mummies and tombs and all of that sort of archeological business in Egypt, the containers or vessels that the past people are put in are decorated or contain some sort of drawings or writings. So in 1886, when Gaston Maspero, who was the head of Egyptian antiquities, came across a plain burial box, he was a little intrigued as to what could be inside. This box had no information as to who the person inside may or may not be, but the corpse inside was wrapped in sheepskin, which was apparently considered unclean by the ancient Egyptians. When unwrapped, it was revealed that this person had both their hands and their feet bound, and as he looked towards the face of this person, he found what appeared to be a screaming face looking back at him. Back in 1886, we didn't have the same amount of information as we do now, so of course this quickly freaked researchers out and led to everyone believing that this person must have been tortured to death. How scary that must have been. But luckily, with the things we now know, we have a much less horrific answer, thankfully. If the jaw of a person isn't strapped shut, when a body is mummified, the jaw naturally falls open, thus this horrible screaming expression. The real mystery that remains is how this mummy, who clearly wasn't considered a person of royalty, came to be buried alongside kings and queens. In our number seven spot today, we have the black granite sarcophagus. In 2018, archeologists in Egypt found a massive black granite sarcophagus in Alexandria, Egypt that dated all the way back to 2000 years ago. Rumors immediately started swirling about what this sarcophagus might have contained, but the best way to find out well, you have to open it, of course. Instead of some crazy curse being unleashed, the first thing that escaped this tomb when opened was a horrible, unbearable smell. Apparently, it was so bad that the site had to be evacuated for a while before they could return to finish opening it up. When they finally were able to completely lift the lid, they found a red-brown like sewage water flooding the bottom, which is likely where that horrible smell was coming from. Other than all that gross stuff, inside the sarcophagus were the bones of three people. Unfortunately, the mummies did not end up being well preserved, so only the skeletal remains were still intact. It is believed that the people inside may have been soldiers from the time of pharaohs. This is believed because one of the skulls had a crack in it from an arrow. There was a bust found along with the tomb, but unfortunately due to time past, it has been weathered beyond recognition, but that is not the only way researchers can find out where the soldiers are from and what time period they lived in. In our number six spot today, we have the Inca mummies. In 1976, researchers found two mummies at a burial site in northern Chile. 
These two corpses belong to two young women who were the victims of human ritual sacrifice. It is likely that the sacrifice they were a part of was one that was carried out by the Inca to commemorate either historical or political events, or as a response to a natural disaster. The mummies were found wearing silver ornaments, and they were surrounded by ceramic vessels, and they were wearing red robes. The red in the Inca clothing was often created using hematite or other iron oxides, but upon further inspection of these mummies, it was revealed that their red clothing held something much more dangerous. The dye used for their clothing contained cinnabar, which is a mineral rich in mercury. This was often used in the ancient world as a pigment for makeup, clothing, and painting, but handling it leads to mercury poisoning. What is strange is that researchers believe that the toxicity of cinnabar wasn't known in ancient Peru, so we aren't exactly sure why they used it in the first place, but it's thought it might have been used as protection against grave robbers. In our number 5 spot today, we have the Faliron Delta Necropolis. In 2016, during the construction of a new library and opera house in Athens, crews accidentally stumbled upon this necropolis, which is a cemetery that is the final resting place of more than 1,500 citizens from ancient Greece. And while this is most definitely an eerie discovery and a reminder of our own morality, the horrifying discovery came when they found a small chamber within this one, and inside there were more than 80 skeletons that all had their hands shackled above their heads. How's that for a horrifying discovery? I don't know, I'm gonna say pretty good. Each of these skeletons belonged to people who died young and healthy, and while the exact cause of death is yet to be determined, all signs are pointing to some kind of mass execution. Right now, the best theory as to who these people may have been is that they may be some of the people who were a part of a coup in 632 BC that was led by Cylon against Athens. It's just strange that even after these people passed, they didn't unshackle them, but that might just be a mystery destined to stay a secret. In our number four spot today, we have the Ancient Curse. All right, so of course we have to have a good old fashioned curse that was unleashed from inside of a tomb. Okay, that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but there really was a curse found on the inside of a tomb. This tomb was the tomb of a pharaoh's official who was thought to have lived around 4,000 years ago during Egypt's sixth dynasty. It was an above ground tomb that was shaped like a rectangular box. Inside of the tomb, they found a curse inscribed that warned anyone who dared to disturb it. The curse, roughly translated, states anything a trespasser, quote, might do against this, my tomb, the same shall be done to your property. It then goes on to warn the trespasser of his knowledge of spells and secret magic, and it threatens to fill impure intruders with a fear of seeing ghosts. These kinds of curses have been found in other tombs, and while they certainly are nothing like the ones depicted in horror movies about mummies, it might still be a little unnerving to those unearthing this discovery. In our number three spot today, we have the Lothagam North Pillar Site. One of the most incredible archaeological finds in Kenya led to a... Well, it wasn't exactly a horrifying discovery, but it certainly was unexpected. Around 5,000 years ago, a tribe of herders paused by a lake in what is now Kenya in order to bury their dead. This ended up turning into one of the most massive and monumental construction projects Africa had ever seen, which is no easy feat. For 450 years, they dug into the bedrock, piled up slabs of sandstone, and buried their dead for generations with ritual ceremonies, and this led to what researchers now consider the earliest and largest monumental cemetery in Eastern Africa. Here's the one kind of unexpected thing that they found here at this site, though. Along with the bodies of those who had passed, researchers also found 405 gerbil teeth at the site. As it turns out, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for this, and it's because they were used to make a headpiece for just one of those who had passed away. This site might not be as large and tall as some of the other monuments like the pyramids in Giza, but what makes them the most remarkable is that this site was made by the people for the people. Not for emperors or kings and queens, it was for tribe members of every age and gender buried alongside each other. In our number two spot today, we have the tomb of Hatshepsut. This was the fifth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of Egypt, and she was the second historically confirmed female pharaoh. She was an incredibly interesting person who we really could talk about all day, but we are here talking about tombs, so let's cut to when hers was found and unearthed. There were a few interesting things found within her tomb, but the real horrors came after when they began to examine her remains. They were actually able to find a cause of death for her and can actually attribute it to something she possessed. 
They found benzoprene carcinogenic skin lotion with the pharaoh, and it is believed that this gave her bone cancer. It is likely that she poisoned herself accidentally while just trying to soothe her skin. Being diagnosed with something like that with the help of modern medicine is already a horrible and painful and scary thing. I couldn't even imagine having to go through it all these years ago without any kind of treatment. In our number one spot today, we have this ancient mystery. Okay, so this is one of the coolest things I've ever heard, and it has me rethinking my entire career. Maybe I do want to be an archaeologist after all. Basically, researchers have found a 1,300-year-old Chinese mystery, and where did they find it? In a Tomb Raider shaft. This feels like a Hollywood blockbuster, and somehow it's just real, ancient life. While excavating a tomb in China, the team discovered the skeleton of a young man that was riddled with wounds, giving clues as to how he died. The man is estimated to have been about 25 years old, and it is thought that he was harmed and then thrown into the Tomb Raider shaft while still alive, which is absolutely gruesome. It is believed this crime took place between 640 and 680 AD. It appears as though he wasn't a thief because the shaft had begun to be refilled with soil by the time of his death, so we really aren't sure why this young man met such a cruel fate. As a true crime enthusiast, this is absolutely fascinating, and I wish we could find some answers to bring this guy's story full circle. Sometimes, though, these things are just destined to stay a secret hidden in the past. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for having me over here on Bumblebee. It was such a treat. I hope that I'll be here again soon. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. In our number two spot today, we have the tomb of Hatshepsut. Hat Hatshepsut. <laughs> this is what I need Taylor for. This is what Taylor's good for. What the hell? Freaking Taylor. He's sick. Um, the tomb of Hat Hatshep. The tomb of Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut. <laughs> Hatshepsut. Sorry, I don't do history. I do spooky videos and Karen videos. That's my thing. <laughs>